Okay, so I'm going to show you the um, waxing of a chin. So if the chin, sometimes there's hair on the top, sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's right underneath as well. So depends on uh, where the hair is and how you wax it and the form of the face. Usually when we wax a chin, if there's hair on the top here, we do the top first and then on the bottom we do um, next, okay? And then sometimes when we move on to jawline, it's under there like that. So we're going to show you from starting from center and then under and then side from each of the jawline. So again, you always want to make sure you're holding the skin taut. And you're creating that patch, that circle. You do not do not go underneath the chin because you're going to need to hold that skin. You're going to press on it. Again, adhering the wax to that area. You're going to use your spatula from the down, holding with your middle finger. Just stretching the skin down and you're going to pull it up from here. Okay, you're gonna have your patch there, you have your tab and you're gonna pull it from there and then your thumb comes down to soothe that area. If there's wax underneath the chin, this is considered, again, jawline. Then you're going to stretch the skin up and you're going to do under. Again, in a patch. You're going to make sure that you have a rim around that patch and that the patch is all even. In thickness, not there's not that there's not any thin areas or thicker areas. And you're going to press, make sure that it's all one patch. You're gonna hold down to one side and pull it towards you. Again, the hair growth usually goes down from underneath the chin, so you will have to pull it up. Same with on the chin down from here. If someone has hair growth that grows from the neck up, then you're going to have to hold and then pull it again against the hair growth, right? So you need to see the hair growth first on which way you're going to apply, hold and pull. 